let's get into an argument about why the band broke up to begin with, and Barry, I guess just now, realizes he should go back home, resulting in this beautifully, awkwardly staged moment. My dad. Okay, so I really have to give credit to the animatronics and the puppeteering in this. It really is first rate. It's amazing the range of expression and movement these costumes emote. It's very well done. But this is the one scene where everybody looks completely lost. The people inside, the puppeteers operating the faces, the cinematographer. Nobody looks like they know what they're supposed to be doing right now. That was like visual dead air. You can practically hear the people inside the suits talking. My dad. I'm just gonna run off this way. You film it if you want. So Barry goes home. Kind of out of nowhere, but again, emotional arcs aren't really this film's focus. What is the film's focus is working on even stranger questions. Like, Barry listens to Nine Inch Nails? What? I don't know what that is. Not only does this not match the music he listens to, not only does it not tie into the kind of character he is, though god forbid that'd be really cool and hilarious, but now we have to acknowledge that Disney officially has Nine Inch Nails in one of their properties. And it's the freaking Country Bears! There is no category for this kind of bonkers! Despite Barry reconnecting with his adoptive family and his new family, it looks like Walken has kidnapped the other bears, as shown by this WTF edit. It was that thimble fella. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea what this movie is doing. Bears, as What is that edit? Yep, edit. It was that thimble fella. <laughs> <laughs> that edit. <laughs> that is fast. He's got a gun. Never die, Chris, never die. As the family tries to go and save them, but can't fit the bear into the car. Well, what the hell were they gonna do when Barry got older? This better not be used for a screwball situation and or wacky climax. You ruined my life! Walken finally reveals who he is, the kid who lost years ago in the talent show. A weird and rather weak twist, but let's be honest, this was just an excuse to get Christopher Walken to do this. <laughs> you didn't have to write a whole movie to get him to do it, just like, ask him what the definition of car is, and he'll just do that! This is that day, I'm plotting my revenge. I love the fact that there's five grown bears, all bigger than Walken, yet none of them want to take him on. Because let's be honest, even an MMA fighter wouldn't want to go up against walking this crazy. <laughs> the rest of the family, of course, shows up. And can you imagine being the team setting this stunt up, risking their lives so that this crazy shit climax can be filmed? What if something went wrong? What if a stuntman died? He would have taken his last breath in a bear suit, filming the exciting conclusion of the Country Bears movie. That would be on his tombstone. Stunt people should get Oscars. Get on it! They make it to Country Bear Hall, but it looks like no one showed up because their agent made a deal with Walken and didn't promote them. RIP! Oh, really? What? I, it's not me. And just look at this face Walken makes. Even for him, this is channeling a different galaxy. Hey, guy! Long time! Looking good! Henry, you working out? It's like he's reliving a past life of an orangutan. <laughs> Now Big Al advertised the show himself and all the people were waiting in the back. This of course leads to the line that brought a torn nation together. Oh, every time he says that line, a nest of pixies is born. They of course played to the crowd, even let Barry rock his guitar, and everyone is super excited. Except this guy. He he's just not into it. And I'm Peter Parker. <laughs> I think that's the sound Haley Joe Osment made when he found out what movie he was recording for. Well, 
12. At least they're still better than Maroon 5. And that was the Country Bears in all honest to God seriousness. I kind of had a fun time with it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> These are shocky things to get in. Still unlocked. Season! This is what we do to people who like the country bears. Is it? I don't know. I was every minute's like that. Wait! Can I, like, explain myself? I guess, but we're still gonna shock your testicles occasionally for good measure. Yeah, that's fair. Country bears? <laughs> it's not an especially well-written movie, and you could argue does even less with the idea than the already small amount that was presented. Occasionally, there's a joke that works, but for the most part, it's relatively dated humor. Where it does succeed is in how random, strange, and unbalanced it is. For most films, being unbalanced is a bad thing, but for this, the tone is so inconsistent that you have no idea if they're gonna go for a laugh or a serious moment. And whichever they choose, it's always hilariously bizarre. It feels like they're just trying anything. Any weird performance, any odd line, any freaking kooky way of shooting a scene. And that surprisingly makes it a lot of fun to watch. I have no idea what the comedic intent of this movie was. Maybe it was all meant to be laughed at, or maybe it wasn't. But I can say I smiled throughout the whole thing because the humor isn't in the intentional jokes in the foreground, but rather the unintentional jokes in the background. The extras, the crazy line reads, the constant questioning of how and why things are happening. If you go into this movie constantly asking why to everything, any answer you come up with will be hilarious. It's like a zen joke. It just asks you the right questions and you fill in the answers to get the humor. So yeah, I weirdly recommend it. I'm kind of hoping it becomes one of those movies that people look back on and say, what the hell were they thinking, but kind of in a loving way. A way that appreciates the energy, the spontaneity, the strangeness, and all-around fun. I'm not entirely sure what this movie was aiming for, but it entertained me and made me laugh. And for a freaking Country Bears movie to do that no matter what the intent, that is quite <coughs> an accomplishment. Hmm. I guess it does make a little more sense when he puts it like that. My balls don't thank you for your understanding. Yeah, I guess we can let this one go. Are you insane? Next he'll be saying that he likes the never-ending story. Wait, you didn't like the never-ending story? Oh, come on, it's long and drawn out and boring and I'm gonna go this way now. I'm a nostalgia critic and there are some stranger things than liking the Country Bears movie. Uh, let me just figure out how to get this unlocked! I do not know anything about the country bears. Nope.